Thank you for tuning in to Championship Muscle. Today's episode is going to be about a continuation from last week. Old school muscle separation and conditioning. Remember this guy up here? We're going to go over some shoulder work today on how to isolate your shoulder muscles to make them pop right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about the old school muscle separation and conditioning. I started last episode talking about fives, tries, and forearms. Today we're gonna to go into shoulders, how to isolate the shoulder muscles so you get that deep etched cuts in the shoulders and the separation like the old school guys have and a lot of the classic guys have. Not too crazy about men's open division. It is what it is. I'm an old school trainer. You guys realize that I'm an old school bodybuilder. So the exercises that I demonstrated, seated side laterals, you're gonna take the dumbbells in your hands. And when you're sitting down on the bench and you're coming up, you're gonna take your thumbs and rotate them downward like you're pouring a glass of soda or something. You're gonna turn the thumbs downward. Pinkies are gonna be up at the top of the repetition. You're not up here. This is your stopping point. So you're gonna go nice and strict from here. You're gonna come up and you're gonna turn. And as you come back down, you bring the dumbbells back to your side and it's a fluid motion. It's not using body mechanics or momentum. It's a strict controlled movement. You're here, you're coming up. Right here is your stopping point. Thumbs are down, pinkies are up towards the ceiling, just like this. And you gotta put your mind into the muscle that you're training. You just can't come up here and just do this. If you're not concentrating on what you're doing, it, it's not as effective. It's like driving a car and not looking where you're going. You know, it just doesn't work. Put your mind into the muscle, concentrate on what you're doing. Feel every repetition and give it a squeeze. That's how you get that deep etched in separation and conditioning. Moderate weight, high repetitions, not four to six, six to eight, eight to 10. I'm talking repetitions in the 15 to 20, 20 to 25 rep range. And if you want a drop set, let's say you started at the 20 pound dumbbells, as soon as you hit that high number that when well, you're gonna stop, say 20, 25, you go to the 15s, you rep them to failure, you go to the 10s, you rep them to failure, then grab a set of the fives. Let me tell you, five pounds are no joke when you're almost 100 repetitions into an exercise. Trust me when I tell you, your shoulders are gonna be screaming. And when you're working your rear delts and you're standing up, your palms are facing forward. And this is an exercise I modified because of a back surgery where I'm not fully bent over doing a rear delt. I'm standing and my hands are in front of me palming the dumbbells. I'm not squeezing them, I'm palming them, and I'm just pulling my rear delts backward, and I'm squeezing every repetition, and I'm not muscling the weight, I'm not using tremendous poundages. 20 pounds, 25 pounds, just go in, you pull it, you squeeze, and you bring it back forward, just like this. Squeeze it, hold it, bring it back forward. That's gonna give you those really big popping rear delts and if you have rotator cuff injuries, this will work around those rotator cuff injuries. Remember, it's training smarter, not training harder. We don't wanna get hurt in the gym. We just wanna get that skin splitting pump. And when you're doing standing side laterals, you take that cable off the bottom of the cable rack and you're coming up, right here's your stopping point, parallel to the ground. You're not above shoulder height. You're right here. And again, you're dipping your thumb down and your pinky is facing upward. Put your mind into the muscle and concentrate on what you're doing, okay? High reps, squeezing the muscles, concentrate on what you're doing. Keep your mind in the game, do not get distracted. You gotta focus, you gotta concentrate. With any body part that you're doing, not necessarily just shoulders, because that's today's topic, with every body part that you're training, you have to put your mind into that muscle. You have to squeeze your contractions. You've got to concentrate 
on every repetition. The last thing you want to do is put body mechanics momentum. Momentum takes the muscle out of the game. Now it's the momentum that's doing the work, not the muscle. You're wasting your time, you're spinning your wheels. Lighten up the weight, concentrate on your form. Form is everything in this game. It's not how much you can lift. You're not in the gym to impress all the other guys that are slamming all these plates around that don't know what the hell they're doing. When you're a serious bodybuilder, concentrate on what you're doing. It's not a game of how much weight. It's a game of concentration, mental control, mindset focusing on the repetition and the muscle that you're training. That's my rant for today. You guys, I got a book out on Amazon, Untold Secrets of Bodybuilding. It's been out since April. It's been getting great reviews, five-star reviews. It's uh, 40 years of my knowledge and a little bit of my humor condensed into about a 28-page book. It's very funny. You guys should grab yourself a copy. I think you enjoy it. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Peace out.